Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose, and in today's video, I am going to be collabing with Look Fantastic once again. I am gonna be doing a holiday look for you guys, so obviously this is gonna be going up right before New Year's Eve, so it will be a New Year's Eve-inspired look. Before we do get started, please subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. Also, don't forget to click the post notification bell just to be notified when my videos do go live, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. In this video, Look Fantastic had given me a budget of $200 to pick out whatever makeup products that I wanted to to create a glam makeup look. So if you guys don't know what Look Fantastic is, it is an online retailer that sells makeup, skincare, tools. They sell stuff from a higher end from Anastasia Beverly Hills, Natasha Denona, Kevin O'Quan, Kojindo, which is something that I'm really excited to try out tonight, to a drugstore, whether it be from the UK, like Sleek or Lottie. I've never seen Lottie before. Before. and again, I'll be trying out one of those products. There is literally a plethora of different types of brands that they do have on their website. I do also wanna let you guys know that I do have a discount code for you guys. All you have to do is go to the description box down below, click on the link, go ahead and shop and use my code Amanda R for that 22% off. Thank you to Look Fantastic for working with me today. I'm really excited to try the products and I always enjoy working with you guys. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get into the makeup look. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I do have a full box here. Of stuff I'm gonna go in with is concealer. I'm gonna use it as my primer. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer in the shade 8. This is the packaging here. It is super cute. It's not what I would expect from them and it, this thing is freaking huge too. It is really big. So this is the shade here and I think it might be the right shade. I'm not quite sure. It kind of has a hoof shape. Like it kind of reminds me of the Lady Gaga lip gloss applicator. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this as my primer on my eye. I'm gonna put a little bit on here. You know what? I think this might be a good shade for me. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. And that is um, pretty much getting rid of all the color on my eye. And the shade is perfect for me. I was literally dreading it. I was like, this is not going to be the right shade for me. But I really hope it's going to be the right shade for me. We will see. I cannot believe how opaque this is. And it's blending out really well. This formula though is a little bit more thick than what I typically do, but it's still really nice. You cannot see veins on my eyes. You cannot see, like I have a beauty mark right here on this side, like right here, and you cannot see my beauty mark at all. Now we're gonna go in with this palette. This is really pretty. Now you guys would probably think I'd go in with like a green or something because that's predominantly this palette, but I'm not going to because I always do green. I really like this green right here. That is so pretty. First two shades I'm gonna go in with is this guy here and this one up here. Very cute, basic shade. This is going on really nicely. It is one of those perfect transition shades. So I will be bringing this up a little higher. Now I am doing this look as more of a realistic approach because Whenever I do go to a holiday party, I don't usually go in with like really crazy colors. I usually go in with something that is neutral with a slight pop of color or a little bit of glitter. So far, these colors are layering really well on top of each other. They're blending out really well. It's not really getting lost even though these are two brown shades, but these two are going on really nicely and they're blending out so fast. The next shade I'm gonna go in with is this shade. I may go in with the, both of these shades just to mix them up together. I want to give this like a tiny, tiny bit more color. Do you see how this side is a little bit more warm tone than this one? Yeah, this is really pretty. I love this. Now the approach that I'm going to be taking, you guys are going to be like, what? I feel like with using this palette, this palette is kind of making me broaden my horizons a little bit. Even though this is really simple, these two colors I would never think to put together. The next shade I'm going to go in with is this one. This is like your basic beige shade. And then I'm going to add it just right up here. And I'm not gonna go any higher. I'm gonna go maybe like a tiny, tiny bit higher than where my crease is. But I don't really like cutting my crease. It just doesn't really look good on my eye shape and it's just not, I can never get it to be perfect. I'm gonna take the last shade that I used before the lid and blend these two colors together. I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On pencil in black. I'm gonna take a brush here and take off the top. Now this is like one of the creamiest eye pencils I've ever used. I love my Makeup by Mario one, but this one takes the cake, it's beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and just line a little bit because I will be smoking this out. 
I'll be back in just a second. This is going to take me a while. <laughs> Hold on. The color that I'm going to go in with next over top of the eyeliner, this dark green here, I am going to take an angled brush and I'm going to go over top and kind of like blend the color up. Yeah, you can't even tell that it's that green shade, but that is okay. <laughs> At least we dried it. There is a little bit of fallout, which is fine because we didn't do our foundation. I feel so weird right now that I don't have any foundation on right now. I do want to jazz up the eye look just a tiny, tiny bit. So I'm going to grab the NYX Glitter Glue. I'm just going to grab a random angled brush and I'm going to grab the product from the back of my hand. I'm going to add it to the front portion of this eye look. Okay, so while that is doing that, what do I want to do? It's like, so I want to be able to match my jewelry, but I also don't want it to be like too crazy. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with this color here. Loaded up my brush and we're going to apply it to the first quarter, I guess. Let's go ahead and get into the face products. I'm really excited for these. The first product that I'm going to go in with is the Cogendo foundation. There are no artificial colors, fragrance, petroleum based mineral oil, or paraben. This is a luminous finish that smooths the appearance of pores and imperfections. So the skincare integrated formula gives long wear. Apply one to two pumps and reapply whenever you want. This is what the packaging looks like. It is very simple. It is glass and on the bottom it's got like a little bit of red down here. That's really cute. This consistency is runny. So the base of it is water. I'm going to start from the center and work my way out. Mmm, it smells nice. Okay y'all, I was really worried about the color but this color is perfect. Oh my gosh, because when I did first get it, I was like, that looks way too light for me, but no, it does not. A little bit does go a long way with this, so you can definitely do two pumps. Like, I don't even really put foundation on my forehead, only when I'm doing videos for you guys. This looks so freaking good, you guys. I didn't put on my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, and I'm still getting like a luminous finish, and you can still see like my imperfections here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the rest of this. We're going to start from the center again, and then lightly work our way out. I really love the finish of this foundation. This foundation was not cheap and I knew that I, it was going to be good but I didn't think it was going to be this good. And now I'm going to get into the concealer. Again this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer in the shade 8. I'm just going to add a tiny tiny bit right here and just a tiny bit underneath here because I actually really do need coverage in that area. I'm going to grab my e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm going to lightly tap this in. This color right now under my eyes, I feel like it's a little too dark. It looked really good on my eyes, but underneath, I don't know y'all. Tell me what you think. This shade right here is probably like my spring shade. It's a little darker. However, this is blending out really fast and really well. Like the whole time that I've been talking, it's already done. Usually with other concealers, it takes me a really, really long time to blend them out. But this one was, it's like absolutely flawless. I'm gonna add it to this side. Okay guys, this concealer is amazing. For the opacity and blendability, like you are able to easily manipulate this concealer and where it goes. Wherever you want it to go, it is going to go. As for creasing, obviously it's gonna crease up in the areas where I have creases, like my natural creases, but it does look really good right now. I am so surprised with this. Next, I'm gonna go in with bronzer. This is the Maybelline City Bronzer. This one is in medium warm 250. This one right here does not have any any shimmer particles in it, no glitter, no sheen, no nothing. It is just straight up matte. So I'm gonna go in with my Complex Culture brush. I'm gonna lightly tap in. Now that I think about it, I don't know if I've ever used a Maybelline bronzer before. I know I've used like Wet n Wild and e.l.f. I went in like this and I'm gonna add a little bit up here because on this side you can't, I mean you can see the bronzer but it's not as dark as I would want it to be, especially for like a New Year's look. So that is one layer. I'm gonna go in with one more. I'm gonna see if you can build this up and you can to set underneath my eyes i'm pretty sure that they have this on the website this is the nyx can't stop won't stop mattifying powder in the shade fair i'm going to put this underneath my eyes now i do have the beauty bakery one that i use but for some reason this powder like you really don't need a lot of it and it mattifies but it doesn't feel like there's anything under your eyes and the shade is fair but it is a little bit more yellow tone 
which is nice. So it does brighten up under the under eye a little bit and it doesn't change the color of your concealer. The next product I'm gonna go in with is by Lottie London. This is the Ombre Blush in the shade Haze. Now I have seen this brand across YouTubers that are British. I think that this is a British brand. I love the packaging. It is so cute. Love the holographic. This shade is like super, super bam in your face. So I'm going to use the smallest amount because it does not match this look, but I will still use it. It's going to add a little bit of color, just a tiny, tiny bit. If it were up to me, I probably would just use like a peach shade for this, but this is like too peach. That went on really nicely. No shimmers, no sheen, no nothing. Straight up matte. This is beautiful. Next is one of my most favorite parts. This is highlighter. I am going to go in with the Ella Masca Beyond Powder Highlighter in, oh my God, now the packaging is very simple. It's huge, but it's very simple. But the color in here, oh my God. This literally looks like a pillow. It looks like a cloud. Like the sheen that it has on it. Do you see that? There's kind of like a pink shift with a champagne shift. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. So that's what that looks like. And this is the highlighter. Okay, we'll go ahead and try that out. That is one layer. You can kind of see that there's something on there, but let's go ahead and go in with a second layer. Okay, that's much better. It's actually not as pigmented as I thought it would be. It's kind of glittery, actually. So this is like a champagne gold shade. Like, it's a good neutral, though. This one kind of reminds me a little bit of the Laura Mercier baked highlighter powder or something like that. So it's not going to be, like, too pigmented, but if you're that type of person, that doesn't want anything that's like too bam in your face, but you still want a little bit of a highlight, this is definitely going to be for you. Like you can see that there is a highlight, but it's not like intrusive. <laughs> It's like dainty and classy and simple. I do have a pair of lashes here, but they are magnetic. And I don't know how that's gonna work with the eyeliner look that I just did. These are the Moonstone Eyelashes by Lola Lashes. These are the lashes here. They're really pretty. Alright guys, so I have the lashes on. I really love these lashes. They are gorgeous. They are fluttery. They are not too big. They're just like right in the middle. Now the only thing that I don't like about it is with almost every single magnetic eyelash that I do have, the inner corner is not really staying down on this side. Now we're going to get into the lips. I'm going to go in with my lip liner first. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my NYX Lip Pencil in Nutmeg. I'm going to kind of like use a lip that's gonna kind of match the look or that is just as warm as my look. The lipstick I'm gonna go in with is by Revolution Pro. This is the new neutral satin matte lipstick in cashmere. The packaging is super cute. Uh-oh, I think this is broken actually. Oh my God, this is so pretty and it's broken. Look at how gorgeous that is. That color is very similar to the L'Oreal one, except this one's matte. That was so smooth. Feels really good. It's really lightweight. I think I may have found a new favorite nude. I am going to put on a lip gloss. I always put in a lip gloss over top. So I'm gonna go in with the Lime Crime Wet Cherry Gloss in White Cherry. Just a tiny bit, because this stuff is really pigmented. Oh, it smells so good though. This whole lip combination and eye look, oh my God, I'm so in love with this right now, you guys. Like I can't even begin to tell you like I'm fucking in love with this. The last product I'm gonna go in with is a setting spray. This is the Shake and Glow Luminous Setting Spray. So this is good for 24 hour holds. It smells like the Revlon one. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. I am so happy with this look. It is not as like blingy and in your face as say most New Year's Eve looks would do. Cause a lot of people do like some crazy intricate looks, but I am more of like very simple with a pop of something for New Year's. I really did enjoy everything, literally everything that I had tried out. That is pretty much it for this video. Pretty much loved everything. I do have a discount 
discount code for you guys down below. Go ahead and click the link and use Amanda R for 22% off of your purchase. Do not miss out on this. All these products that I tried out, oh my gosh, I would completely recommend to you guys. All right, guys, so that is it for my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. If there's anything else you guys do want to see, please let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these brands, what you think of them. Like, I really want to have a conversation about this concealer and this foundation. Like, let me know if you guys have tried this because these two I was really, really surprised with. Again, thank you to Look Fantastic for collabing with me on this video. Again, I always have so much fun working with you guys and trying out the products. That is it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hold, hold on. Wait a second. Oh, oh. So fucking cold in this bitch.